My BFI Player Plus choice this week is perhaps my personal favourite film by British director Ken Loach, who recently won his second Palme d'Or at the Cannes Film Festival for the wonderful I, Daniel Blake. Based on a polemical script by Jim Allen, this 1995 masterpiece has an epic sweep and a powerful punch as it unravels the complexities of the Spanish Civil War, land and freedom. There's fighting in the streets, barricades going up all over the place, there's shootings, comrades against comrades. Fassi must be laughing their heads off. Anyway, I've just got orders to join a squad of government supporters. It seems we're being sent to defend Communist Party HQ. No choice. I'm not looking forward to it. The story, which unfolds in flashback, centres on Ian Hart's David Carr, an unemployed British communist who ventures from his home in Liverpool, intending to join up with the international brigades in Spain. Enlisting with the POUM, the Workers' Party of Marxist Unification, David falls for Blanca, an ideological firebrand superbly played by Rosanna Pasta. In the ensuing melee, personal and political affiliations and separations are played out in riveting fashion, delivering both an extraordinary history lesson about one of the most labyrinthine periods of the 20th century, and also a very human story about the hopes and idealism of the young, caught up in the crossfire of international conflict. Few directors would be brave enough to effectively stop a drama in its tracks and allow a lengthy political argument to play out, but that's exactly what Loach does in the middle of Land and Freedom, and the result is surprisingly dramatic. Elsewhere, Loach filmed one of the most shocking moments in the drama without the supporting cast knowing what was going to happen, creating a scene of breathtaking candour. Having prematurely announced his retirement from dramatic feature films a few years ago, Loach, who's now in his 80s, is showing no sign of slowing up, instead going from strength to strength. As for Land and Freedom, it may be over 20 years old, but it still seems as fresh and urgent today as it did back in the mid-90s.